This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Everybody can't go with you. I know this is a tough pill to swallow. We want to take loved ones, friends, family with us along for the journey. We want everybody to win. We want the best for everyone. We want to be next to people that have known us, that have been in the trenches with us, been uh, through the bad times with us. And uh, that's admirable. It is, that's noble. But the fact of the matter is everybody can't go because everybody's mindset is not evolving or it's not flowing and moving at the pace your mindset is moving. And so you'll mess around and take people with you that are not ready for that platform you're going to, for that stage, to be around those circles. And they can mess up your whole thing, man. They can mess up, corrupt your mindset if they bring toxicity to it. Or, hey, fumble the bag because of behavior, uh, mindset, actions, and uh, that can hurt you. So, you know, every year you need to do an audit. You need to do an audit to see who's a liability, right? Who's an asset? And you got to do this with family and friends. Uh, who's toxic? Who's bringing drama? Who's bringing gossip? Who's adding value? Who's taking away? Right? Who's trading, exchanging positivity, jewels, gifts, talents? Who's doing that? Who's motivating? Who's giving sound, heartfelt advice to you? Or who, who's bringing negativity? You got to do that. I hear a lot of people saying, and this, this runs rampant in, in our culture, you know, the black culture, people saying, my day ones. They may post a picture, a photo on social media, and they'll caption it, caption it with uh, my day ones. And that, that sounds great. That, that sounds cute. But some of us have not moved forward because we're still attached to the day ones, right? Everybody doesn't need a close relationship with us for 30, 40 years, 20 years. Some people don't even need to be in relationship with us five years, two years, because they've shown their hand. They've shown that they're not bringing, they're not bringing any value to the table. They're just taking. Prime example, man, uh, you know, I like telling stories. So this is back pre probably definitely over 20 years ago. I was working for uh, Texas Instruments. Probably my second IT job. Um, you know, know anything about Texas Instruments? Uh, cool, a large company, corporation. And, you know, I, I enjoyed it there. So we were having a team building event uh, after work and they said we could bring family and friends so i said well man i'm gonna invite my boy out you know been knowing him since uh second third grade i said i'm gonna bring him out he can come out here and uh enjoy it food's free drinks free and uh hey that's who i'm comfortable with that's, that's my guy he gonna come out enjoy this Man, so he comes out, and he has a great personality, right? Great personality. Very friendly and uh, <laughs> charismatic. Great personality. But his mindset hadn't evolved, and he couldn't or didn't know the room. You got to know the room, where you at, what's at stake. So he comes to the event. It was a main event. Actually, it was that main event in uh, Plano. I think that's Plano. 
he comes out and, uh, you know, I'm introducing him to everyone. Like I said, he's charismatic, cool guy. Man, at one point in the evening, I leave the table to go to the restroom. Man, I get back. He's having a conversation with one of my coworkers about the price of, of pounds of weed and the quality and the different strains. And I'm like, whoa, man, like, whoa. <laughs> so, so I had to cut off the conversation and I had to pull him to the side and say, hey man, you, you, uh, you can't do that. You know, I, I work with these people, man. You, you can't be discussing that kind of stuff. Oh man, they're cool, man, they're cool. Nah, man, I work with these people. They're gonna judge me and just put me in a box based on your conversation because I'm vouching for you by bringing you into the circle. I'm vouching for you. You're an extension of me. You're a reflection of me, right? Birds of a feather flock together. So you're a reflection of me. You're representing me and I'm representing you. And he just didn't get it. He didn't get it and uh, so yeah, after that, I had, that was a lesson for me. Um, it was a good lesson early that I can't bring everybody along. Everybody's not ready. And uh, hey, and that includes me uh, sometimes too, maybe, you know, uh, maybe in certain situations, I was in certain time frames in life, I wasn't ready for certain things to be in certain rooms. Uh, I never would have done anything like that with Ida, and I did, but I got more sense than that. But, hey, I, I wasn't ready for certain things, I'm sure. So, everybody can't go along. And you got to be okay with someone not taking you along. Because maybe you're not ready. And you got to have so much love and respect and admiration for that person that you're willing to not go along without there being any bitterness, any beef, any spite, because you want that person to win at the end of the day. Now that's, that's a true friend and that's love. Regardless if I'm going along with you to the mountaintop, maybe I ain't ready, maybe I ain't got my stuff together, but hey man, you go along because you're headed somewhere and I want you to win. Hey, that's good stuff, man. They're good. That's that's a true friend. And like I said, that's real love. But you have to have a keen eye, have to be mindful, and you have to actually remove emotion uh, from the equation when you're analyzing who should go along with you. Uh, Got to remove ego. Got to remove that. Got to think logically. And uh, you can take some people, but some people you can't, and that's okay. Now, that's not saying that you guys won't meet again at the top. And that's not saying you got to totally cut someone off. You know, you may not just need to uh, have a relationship at a distance or periodically check on one another, but maybe they don't need to be in close vicinity uh, within your circle or what you got going on. And hey, you got to do it. It's, it's, it's paramount for your growth, for your success, for you to know when to cut off situations and when to build upon relationships also. I'm telling you. So a lot of you talking about your day ones, your day ones, and you're bragging about that. You got to ask yourself, what have we accomplished together? Is it just a bunch of laughs, uh, a lot of jokes, a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, a lot of drugging, or have we really accomplished something in life together? Have they really built me up? Have I built them up? Am I an asset to them? Are they an asset to me? Or do we drain one another? Or is one getting drained? You got to really look at that. Hey, that's my two cents on that. 
from me to you, as always, love, peace.